Okay, my dudes, here we go, WWE 2K22, introducing to you LA Knight. Now, if The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin had a baby somehow in a chemical lab, you would get LA Knight. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. I love this guy. You know what? I said to you guys last time in a couple of other videos, I didn't really know who LA Knight was before, and I started watching some of his NXT stuff, and damn! Damn! I see, like, before when he had that little beef with uh, Ted Diabasi, I was like, cool, but I've been watching, and I love LA Knight. I honestly, you know what? From how LA Knight was in NXT, I cannot even believe that someone even gave him the role of being the leader of uh, Maximum Male Modern Agency. I can't even believe that. Like, after seeing him in NXT and how he is and how he talks and how he thinks he's... I just... I, I, whoever would have thought that he would have been a leader of a model agency was ridiculous. Maybe they needed to do that to get him in there, but I feel like that really and truthfully, that could have tarnished... That could have tarnished his character, his persona. I'm, I'm so happy it never... I'm so happy that Triple H came along when he did. I'm not even joking, man, because this LA Knight that we're seeing at the moment, maybe not a lot of you guys are really feeling it, or you are, whatever. Damn, he looks all discombobulated right there. Bray Wyatt. But LA Knight, if he gets a good run, man, I feel like LA Knight on the right path under Triple, H, uh, Triple H's guide, his, his guidance through the WWE. I feel like LA Knight will definitely be someone we will all grow to love, man. His mic skills are just off the chain. I absolutely love him, man. Um, we saw the other day LA Knight and Bray Wyatt have a running with each other, which was actually satisfying to watch. I'm hoping they do something here. Obviously, they need to he push LA Knight somehow. They need to give something to Bray Wyatt so we can see him in action. I don't know how. I don't know if he's going to be in ring or maybe just talking trash and now and again just fighting him. And, and whatever. He did get a nice sweet headbutt by Bray Wyatt. So maybe he might be out for revenge, man. I liked it when LA Knight was, I don't get them puppets and put them up there. I don't, I, do you know what? LA Knight, man. Guys, comment down below how you're feeling about LA Knight. Was you like me and was like a bit like, oh, I don't really know who LA Knight really was. And then watched some NXT and was like, hell yeah, LA Knight, bro. I'm telling you right now, I am hyped for this WWE superstar to start making it. I'm, I'm actually real hyped. Like, and I'm another thing I've got to say, guys. When people come over from NXT and we don't really know who they are, I feel like we should all actually watch a little bit of their past NXT history just so we know who we're dealing with because yeah, actually there's one one team that I haven't really watched nothing hit row I'm not gonna lie I'm just not really and maybe it's because I haven't watched anything of them on NXT before but that's that that's why I say we should all watch something to do with superstars that come up to the main roster because like me right now at the moment I'm not feeling hit hit row because I just I don't really know too much about them. Maybe if I started watching previous stuff, what they've done in NXT, I might be like, oh damn, all right, I'm feeling this team right here. Maybe that's what we need to do because when you don't really know someone, you have to grow to love them. And if you're not really feeling where they're coming from, you're like, damn, I don't know where you. But then if you like LA Knight, LA Knight now, bruh. Bruh, like, I, I don't know what Triple H is going to do with this. Like, I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know what he's got in his, in his little Triple H pocket. And he's like, yo, here's a little bit of dust of LA Knight and Bray Wyatt going to beef it out. Maybe they just might do it just to bring LA. LA Knight needs to be pushed. That is one thing I'm saying right now. LA Knight needs to be pushed somehow. Maybe just let him just talk some trash because... What made us all love The Rock? Stone Cold Steve Austin. Obviously, their wrestling was, was very, very entertaining to watch, but it was their mic skills. It was those mic skills that made us love them superstars, man. Like, some superstars didn't really have to talk that much for us to love them, but The Rock, the most electrifying man in all the sports, and the Stone Cold Steve Austin, and that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold... I, I told you, Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Cast of the mold is LA Knight, bro. <laughs> LA Knight! I'm telling you, man. Oh, here we go. Woo! Yurinagi just put him down, stunned him out, and oh, Sister Abigail. Oh, LA, LA Knight is out cold, bro. Oh, LA Knight is out. Oh, rope break! 
You lucky son of a gun. You lucky son of a gun. LA Knight was out cold. It was done. His career was finished. He was going back to NX and no, he wasn't. He was staying here in the main roster. It doesn't matter if you win or lose, long as you get up and fight again. That's all we care about here in the WWE Universe. Woo! Damn! Well, right now, LA Knight needs to pull his fingers out where the puppets just went because he ain't really doing a whole bunch right here to Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt, man, just let me get and let loose and let him do what he wants to do. I'm feeling it, man. I'm, I'm liking it. Guys, I'm real liking it. I'm actually loving the whole Bray Wyatt. Who the heck is Uncle Howdy as well? Like, who is this guy? It's, obviously, it's Bray Wyatt. And some people was trying to say it was Alistair Black. No, bro. No, bro. No. There's no way. There's no way that Mr. Uncle Howdy is Alistair Black. No, 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 no. Because they saw the eye, and Alistair Black has the eye with the one normal eye and the one blue eye or white eye or whatever. No. And if it is, oh, damn. But you can kind of see it's Bray in there. I think, anyway. <laughs> if it is Alistair, I'll be like, what? No, I swear Alistair's still over in, in AEW. Even Bear will be leaving AEW. Uh, but yeah. I, I'm actually curious to find out what this whole Uncle Howdy thing is and, and everything, man. It's going to be real cool to watch, man. LA Knight breaking the ring count again. And this time it's going to be Bray Wyatt getting in the ring. LA Knight just trying to take a breather right there. Got hurt in the ribs. Throwing straight on the barricade. And look at this. Bray Wyatt doesn't give a damn. He's going to come out and get him. Well, here we go. Pop! Woo! Oh, damn. Nice reversal there by LA Knight. Suplex outside, look at this. Oh, into a net breaker. Oh, Blake got skills. LA Knight ain't just got mic skills. He's got those wrestling skills, those in-ring skills. That's what I'm talking about. I love how they just throw him from one end of the ring all the way to the other. In 2K20, it was at least halfway, because then you can throw him in the ring. That's up here, like, whoo! Like, bro, I didn't mean to throw you that far. <laughs> Yo, anyway, uh, guys, 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 guys. First of all, we all happy that Bray's back, right? We can we can all say that. Come on, LA, get in there. Get in there, LA Knight. Get in there. Let's see some action. Where, where you going, bro? Where the heck you going? Oh, there you go. You're walking around the wrong way there. No, LA Knight. He went, did he go? He went for something, I think. He went for something. LA Knight needs to turn this around. Here we go. Pop! There it is. It could be done. What the heck? What? Two. I thought we were going to see an upset. I thought we was going to see an L.A. Knight upset right there. Woo! Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, my boy, he's about to get snapped up. Oh, L.A. Knight is here to stay, bro. L.A. Knight is here to stay. If he lands this down on Bray Wyatt now, it's done. It's done. Bre Mr. Howdy might have to come out here. Oh, ring break, though. Rock, rock, break, though. Oh, you son of a gun. You just paid the price. You just paid the price, man. You should have known about that trick. You done it to play first of all. Here we go. You and Nagi. Oh, you. No, what the heck was that? Went for that you and Nagi, man. Missed it. Whoop. Straight in the heart. Oh, damn. Go to the corner, bro. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Oh, oh, we seeing it. Oh, we seeing that crab walking son of a gun. Mr. Howdy, Mr. Fiend, Rabbit, Piggy. Bray Wyatt, Sister Abigail coming on. That just came out. I don't know what the heck I was talking about. I was just thinking about everything, didn't I? Wyatt family, bruh. Here we go. LA Knight, wake up. What are you going to say? About to get the kiss on the forehead. Good night, baby. Oh, LA Knight with a reversal. Damn. I like it. I like it. This is actually a decent match. Choo! He got skills. LA, LA Knight got skills. All right, LA Knight got skills. Here you go. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, he, he missed it. He missed it. He missed it. You're a Plop. Where's he going to go for this? He's going for it. That you're a could have done it. One, two, throw. How the heck did he kick out of that one? How the heck did LA Knight kick out of that? If he lands this, this down we go. He's done. Choo! Oh. <laughs> He'd be playing games with him. Bray Wyatt be playing games now. You see that? Bray Wyatt could have finished him off. Now he wants to break him. He wants to break LA Knight. This could, this, this could possibly be a good rivalry because they both got mic skills. When there's two superstars that's got mic skills, first of all, it's going to make their popularity a little bit better as well. But it makes the rivalry just that much better. 
if they were both super popular and they went at it for for if these two go at it now I definitely would like to see it once LA Knight is fully up there like with the popularity they go at it again because right now LA, LA Knight is still just oh damn no 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 oh that he's going by the way no road break here baby one two three <laughs> we just saw LA Knight beat Bray Wyatt that's it they, it, would that happen? Would that happen? I, I don't know. I don't know if that would happen, but it, 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 would, it would definitely spark something in the rivalry. It would definitely spark something in the rivalry. Who is going to be who? Who's going to take out who? Who's going to watch who's back when they're walking down those corridors, man? I love it. I love it. All right, guys, remember, any suggestions you want to see on WWE 2K22, always hit me up in the comments below. But until then, we we'll see you guys in the next episode. My dudes.